and four. Okay, so now that we've got those in place, as well as the hoppers below all of them, um, all we really need are a few chests. So I guess, I feel like six should be like way more than enough, but I don't really know how frequently this thing is going to break on me. So I guess we'll find out, won't we? So we'll just do one of these. Doot doot. Yeah. So we'll have basically, what, 6, 12, 24 chests total, because 6 at each of these. Okay, yeah, should be good. Okay, that should take care of that just fine. I will eventually have to make an actually decent way of getting up here, but for now I don't think I care. So, we're just gonna nerd pull up our single gap right here. So now that we have the storage stuff all set up, we should be good to just throw the minecarts in for the entity Kremen. That was expensive. Ouch. Okay. Um, we have enough iron to do this, but boy, is it going to be close. <laughs> I don't really know if there's a better way to place these guys in here, but I'm just going to slowly nudge them all in. I can't. They stack on top of each other. Okay, I've done this wrong. <laughs> Two? Oh, okay. I see. This is unpleasant. Three, four, five, six. I don't know if I have to break the thing either. Six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and the rest of them landed down. 23. Okay, so theoretically, right, if I jump in there, I will take damage. Okay. That's not a good sign. 23, 24, aha. Uh -huh. uh, okay, that was the correct number because they started murdering me very fast. That's actually a ton of stinking damage. So I guess the real question is, I can break the block, but the minecarts will probably explode out. Eh. I don't think I need to, so I'm not going to. See, in this one, I don't know what to do about. Because the block is, um... Well, heck, I guess that solves it, doesn't it? I can just do that to turn it sideways, because I was worried about them, like, falling off the rail immediately. So as soon as they collide wonky, things will go south for us very fast. Okay, I think that's... All four of them. Now, hopefully I have these set up in the correct way. Because if not, I think the XP will build up. But, I mean, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? These are the questions. Okay. Well, in theory, we just place these stairs down and this thing works now. In theory. Where's the hole I made? I accidentally, like, tested this thing while there was a hole in the wall, and I very nearly died. So I would not recommend it. Okay, I was going to say, where the heck did I put my bow? Kind of need, you need a bow, basically, to start it all up. So, now, I should just be able to shoot a guy. Shoot a guy. It one-shot him. Huh. Come on. Yeah, here we go. It's very scary. And now they should all just shove their ways in and die. Wow, that's a terrible sound. I heard a chicken. <gasps> 4K. 4Y. Okay, well the minecarts are making infinite noise now. 
So, I mean, you know, that's a thing. What noise do minecarts make? Friendly creatures? I feel like that's probably it. Uh, yeah, friendly creatures. Wow, I'm good. Uh, okay, so it's immediately stopped. I guess let's see what we got. No, so see, the first off, the XP isn't coming to me like it should be. Um, I guess all the loot is getting picked up, so that's one good thing. Okay, test number two. I didn't change the slabs at all, so that part's not going to work, but... I really just need them to stay aggro. Oh, that was lag, okay. See, those guys are stuck there. But no. Nah, they're just not staying aggroed. Even though these guys are mad at me. What if I punch you? Yeah. No, none of the new ones care. Huh. So I don't know if this spot, this little thing matters, but in the video they have these like this. So actually, they were pathfinding down to me for no reason. I guess, well, no, they could still see through the blocks technically, so... Whatever, it's a small thing. Okay. I think I just need to get some of these guys set up on the edges. Dude. Okay. Because, um, basically what happens is they stop being mad at me. Because they forget that I did them wrong. So we gotta fix that. No. Dude. You were all set up in every- oh, you dumb dumb. Ugh. Yup. Perfect. Mr. Three, four, six. No. Seven. And eight. Okay. So I've got two of them on two of them on each corner. So theoretically we have a volunteer. So theoretically Um they should just keep coming now. They don't look mad. Ah, uh, he looks mad. I wonder if I... I hope I didn't put him too far out. That'd be a pain. Ah! Those guys just spawned and they're mad at me. That's a good sign. This isn't very good, though, with them... Ooh. <laughs> they're clogging up. Because there's two of them. This seems to be fine, honestly. I should be holding my looting sword out. He just forgot about me halfway. Rude. It does look like it's working. I do think it would benefit from another spawning layer, though. Just because they have... Like, it takes them time to aggro. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Oh, because I walked far away, obviously they would spawn beneath me. That was dangerous. Huh. I mean, for a few minutes, that's really not bad at all. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. So what do we get total? 34. Ah, 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 no. I'm doing so good and not dying. Yeah, magma cubes are a bit of a problem, so I guess I'll probably put a roof on this thing. Ugh. In fact, there was a roof before, but... No. Stop! No! <laughs> I hate him. 
Yeah, it could definitely use a second floor, so I think I'll probably go ahead and put that on. Well, that's pretty fine for now. I'll add a second layer as we actually need it, because we don't really need gold for any particular reason at the moment. So, on to the next project. Okay, so, next on the agenda, I want to make a somewhat large pumpkin farm and completely automated obviously because we're going to start needing a whole lot of pumpkins or just not pumpkins specifically but we're gonna need something to trade with villagers to get loads upon loads of emeralds and why not use pumpkins because they're kind of the easiest thing so I've already got a design planned out I made it in creative mode so I've got it in my testing world and it's going to be fantastic, and I'm very pleased with how it looks. So, well, I'm not very pleased with how it looks. It looks alright for a redstone cr contraption, but I really wanted to, like, build it into the ground. Like how the flower farm actually kind of blends in. I forgot to build a flower farm building. I'll have to add that to the list. But, anyways, um, I wanted to just have it look like a nice farm. But there's not really a good way to break pumpkins open or like break them off the ground so I'm just gonna make it an actually semi-industrial semi looking thing unfortunately hoppers are expensive man we need an iron farm we need an iron farm bad because I could use it for a lot of things I guess I'll make that like second priority unfortunate I don't like iron farms but I'm gonna need so much iron and I can use it as a building block then yeah, I guess. The question is, where do we put this farm? So I'm thinking I'll put the wheat farms, like, right over here. So I guess right around here would be good. But I'm gonna, like, what I'm gonna do is try to build it into a mountain a little bit. Just because I don't want to look at it. So I'm gonna find a good spot for this first real quick gonna be tall. I feel like right here is a good spot. Yeah. Good enough. I have no sound. Aha, that'd be why. Let's do one of these guys. Friendly creatures on. I was at my gold farm, right? So I know it's a new day and everything, but it was a good time. I AFK'd at the gold farm for probably like, well, semi-AFK'd for probably like eight hours and um, like checking back every now and then and we have pretty much two stacks of gold blocks now and I'm level 189 so yeah um, we're gonna go ahead and put together this pumpkin farm real quick I went ahead and designed it in a creative world over here so I've got screenshots of both sides of the thing and it's really good honestly I'm pretty sure someone else has probably made this before but I haven't. And I think I put it together, so it's okay. I forgot some stuff already. I swear I made a diamond toe already. Whatever. Ouch. And you know, I definitely did. I don't need a second one. I think I was preparing. Yeah! There's that stack of observers I made. I knew I wasn't going crazy. Ah, dang. See, because most of the time I prepare a chest for stuff, uh, just so I don't have to keep running back and forth like I am right now, but I forgot about it. Okay, so this farm's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 blocks wide. Really? Wow. Oh, that's why that's, okay. It's a good design. I'm pleased. Uh, so I think what we'll do is I'll go ahead and just dig out 9 by 9 or not nine by nine, but you know, nine blocks wide into this wall. One, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, and then I'll just push it back until it's gonna like collide with the mountain. Cause I want the front wall to be made out of glass and just kind of, come on, give me that haste. Uh, and kind of just dig into the mountain. Oh, 
Come on. I'm so close. Give me the haste. Yes. <laughs> I think you get it for like 20 seconds, so it might be worth it just to run back and forth here. Wow, that is a terrifying noise. Oh, this is so fast. This is why we wanted that beacon. Like, first thing. Yes, okay. That was definitely worth. Glass wall here. One block back would probably be better. Yeah, okay. Okay, so glass wall here. Airspace. Pistons. Redstone. Space for me to work. Okay. So it's like, what? One, two, three, four. This thing's only four blocks wide, and that's giving me an extra airspace to do things. Oh, come on. Do it. Yes. Okay, I do have to be careful. I've lit up a whole lot of the caves around here. And, um, things are kind of starting to get dangerous, so... We'll have to start being a little careful about what's actually lit up and what's not. No. I have enough blocks to make this thing really stinking tall. Um... So it takes five pistons per layer, four observers, three droppers, four hoppers. So it's pretty expensive, but it's also like entirely lossless, I believe. And it's it breaks the uh, pumpkins as soon as they spawn, because there's an observer for every block. Okay, so it'll be something like that. This is where the dirt will go. I'll place water on the sides of each layer. Do like this. I'm definitely going to start designing stuff in creative a lot more because having a plan to go off of makes this a whole lot easier. Um, and each layer is only three blocks, so it'll be the next layer will just start like right here. So that'll be good. I think we'll go ahead and just set it up with ten layers just kind of to get started here. Yeah, I guess I have to put stuff on these sides too, don't I? Put the lighting there. I didn't really put a spot for lighting. And that should be fine. Actually, yeah, we'll definitely do that. So we'll just do like this, the water block's under there. And then we can just put the glowstone on every level. Like that. Because this is the only part you'll see, really, right here. As well as along the sides. Okay. So I've got I've gone up ten layers here. And it, I think it's definitely going to be excessive. Yeah. Because, um, this is, like, right next to our house. So it's pretty much going to be loaded, like, all the time. One, two, three, four. No! Whatever. Doesn't matter. From where, though? Okay, this might be dangerous. No, it's already lit up. Nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, as I said, I've gone around here and lit up most of the caves whenever possible. So it shouldn't make this too bad. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the wall will be like over here. Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah, like that. I don't technically need it to look nice up here, so do I want to dig out this wall? I kind of think no. Yeah, I think definitely no. No one's gonna see it, so how much do I care? That's the question. 